Abrina joining me in studio right now. Two friends of the KOM news team right here. We have Dr. Miguel Vibakwa on the left, Vibakwa, pardon me, and attorney Levin Camacho. We're talking about the heritage hikes, something everybody on island should go check out. We'll talk to that in a moment. And I'm sure both of these gentlemen have something to say about the signing of the programmatic agreement. <laughs> that was kind of a momentous occasion in our island's history. So, you know, first things first, the heritage hikes. Um, Dr. McGitt, what are they and how can people take advantage of them and what do they mean to let both people living here and people that were new to the island? So um, the heritage hikes, we first started them last November. We had three hikes to three different places on the island and people who went on them, they could go get some exercise, see the beauty of the island, but they could also learn the history. And so part of each hike is also that we make regular stops to, to kind of hear the story of that place. And because the military buildup is such a big issue, we choose sites which have some contemporary or historical relationship to sort of the US military on Guam. Mm -hmm. So we pick places. So for instance, the hikes that we have now, we're taking people to Tumon Bay, Paget, and Seti and Sela Bay. Mm -hmm. And so each of those has some sort of different story where you know, we're hoping that people will not only enjoy themselves, get outdoors, but that they'll also learn something about it. You know, especially especially things which can kind of help them understand the buildup and, and understand sort of the history behind it. Like we've had buildups before, and so you go on these hikes and you can learn about sort of the po the negatives, the positives mm -hmm. about those buildups of the past. Okay, leave it. Obviously, you're very. Uh, very well decked out for your day job, which is a, as a lawyer here on Guam. But I know you're an outdoorsman, and you really enjoy, you know, doing things at the beach and you know taking advantage of the wonderful climate we have here. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, uh, what can people take away from the educational as well as the you know the atmospheric things about the hikes? Well, I, I've been hiking for quite often on Guam, and um, Maget and I actually would go on these hikes and. Um, after a while, I would start. I started to learn a lot more about the history, and I thought it would be a cool experience for other people to kind of. You know, it's one thing to go to Paget, and it's another thing to learn about why it is uh, historically and culturally significant. So that that's kind of where the idea came up. And um, even if you've already been on these hikes before, to Seti to Sedza Bay, both of them are very popular hikes. Um, you will learn something new about that area if you come on our heritage hikes. Mm -hmm. So so it's fitness, and you get you know you get to be outdoors and experience with other Guamanians, whether people live here full time or not. And there's there's also an academic slant to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to the programmatic agreement now. You know, we'll, we'll try and touch on the heritage hikes, um, you know, before we wrap up. But, Levin, you've been doing a lot of work as a member of the We Are Guahan organization. Um, you know, we've also talked to you guys about the signing of the PA. And, um, you know, your organization has also said the fight for Pocket Village uh, continues. Mm -hmm. Okay, so explain that. Well, and it's actually very relevant to the heritage hikes. Um, we are going down to Pocket on our second hike. And uh, the programmatic agreement talks about historic properties and how they're going to be handled. And we are involved in a lawsuit to save Pocket Village. Uh, and the programmatic agreement, it's been signed. And uh, there are some people that are very excited about it. And others who still oppose any firing ranges being in that area at all, because it is historically and culturally, culturally significant. Yeah. So uh, we just want to remind people that the lawsuit is still going to move forward. And we have a hearing in September. And a court is going to decide whether or not uh, DOD followed the law when it selected Pocket in 2008. Mm -hmm. Certainly, this was one of the more polarizing issues that you know our islands had in its its recent history and everything. Um, Doc, from your perspective and everything, like what do you think are going to be some of the uh, maybe the immediate repercussions of you know of the PA now being formalized? Well, I mean, I think it's uh, when I think about the PA, I think. One of the problems for me is that it is a it is a big improvement over previous drafts, but when I look at it, there's still so many things that aren't answered. There's still so many things where we should we should have details, but we just don't have them yet. And so that's why, you know, for me, it's it's still very I'm still very cautious about this, and I'm still very kind of confused about what's going on because we're told that there'll be like full public access to Pocket, but then we're not told how they're going to arrange the firing ranges on top. Because what if Pocket still falls in the surface danger zone of these firing ranges? And so that's why you know, I'm, I'm hoping that in the coming weeks and months that we can kind of get those details out of DOD because that will kind of show us whether or not you know, this public agreement is really, it was really a good, uh, excuse me, the programmatic agreement, whether it was, it was really that much of an improvement or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well. Okay, so now to wrap up, um, you know, policy and litigation pending 
pending yeah. keyword <laughs> aside. Well, let's get back to the hikes. Um, when can people check it out? And you know, is there a cost to people? And is there a capacity limit? And you know, like, is are there age requirements? You know, do you have to be of a certain fitness level or too young, too old? Sure. Um, this weekend we're going to be going to Tumon, so that's March 12th. March 19th we'll be going to Pogget, and the March 26th hike is the SETI to Sedza Bay. And it's an order of easy, medium, and hard mm -hmm. difficulties. Um, age groups, or age really depends on your fitness, but we've had kids that have gone down to Pocket. Uh, SETI to Sedza Bay may be more challenging for those, uh, for anyone uh, in general. <laughs> Even if you're pretty fit, it's a, it's a pretty difficult hike. But it's probably one of the more beautiful hikes, too, because you get to walk along the river on Guam, and it's something mm -hmm. very unique. Um, there's no cost. Uh, the show up time is 8.45. This weekend, we're going to meet at the main pavilion at Epau. Next weekend is at the Pocket Trailhead, and the last hike we're going to be meeting at the SETI Bay Trailhead. And if you need more information, you can go to our website, weareguahan.com, and all the information is there. Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll thank see you then. You. Okay, that was, of course, Dr. Michael Bevacqua and Attorney Levin Camacho, two distinguished gentlemen in our island community trying to make change for the better.